So friends, welcome to lecture number nine. That is advanced express and CSS expressions in Selenium in C# .NET. In this video, you will learn how to identify the elements using XPath and CSS selectors. First of all, we will be looking at XPath expressions, and in that, we will be looking at how to identify the elements using XPaths and using attributes, their values, and using these functions like starts with using operators like and or operator and we will also look at how to identify the relative elements using the parent child or the sibling relationships of the elements let us start with some basic xpath expressions for that uh, i have gone to this web page and what i'm going to do is just inspect this element so in the chrome it's very easy to inspect the element all you have to do is just right click on the element and then select inspect menu and after that that element will be highlighted as you can see this element has been highlighted over here as you take your mouse over that particular element in the elements panel and right down there you can write the xpath expressions so within the chrome you have to use this particular syntax to write the xpath expressions let us say you want to identify all the elements with the input tag then you have to use this slash slash input so all the xpath expression starts with a slash slash and then here you have to go so in the chrome you have to use dollar x to write the xpath expressions and in the brackets you have to use uh, the xpath ex write the xpath expression in the quotes so every xpath expression starts with this double slashes and then followed by input tag name and then if you hit enter it will display all the input tags in that particular web page as you can see there are around 15 tag 16 input tags in that particular page but uh, sometimes you, do, you are not interested in all the input tags you are interested in only specific input tag so let us say you want to just uh, uh, find this particular input element then you can use the attributes of that element for example find the input element whose id attribute is for that you have to use this syntax at id followed by the attribute name is equal to in the single quote you have to use the name of that attribute that is fn and then hit enter and then it will display only single element because there is only one element whose attribute is id attribute is equal to fn that is how you can identify the elements using xpath now let us look at some some of the more complicated or the advanced xpaths expressions let us say you want to find all the input elements whose id attribute starts with uh, f then you can use this syntax starts with like that so it will identify all the input elements whose id attribute starts with f now let us look at the operators now let us look at the contains function the contains function is used to find the elements whose uh, attributes value contains some letter or the word for example to find all the input tags whose id attribute contains the letter f you can use this particular syntax and there are so many input tags whose uh, id attribute contains that f for example here th uh, this particular id starts with f then here f is actually within that particular id so whenever the id attributes value contains f that particular input elements will be returned now let us look at the operators operators allow you to select the elements based upon multiple attributes as you can see over here we have used just one attribute that is id attribute of this element but you can use the multiple attributes like we can also use type uh, attribute so for that let us say you want to find out all the elements uh, whose id attribute contains f and so you have to use this and operator and type attribute is equal to text so like that you can give multiple attributes and their values as you can see there are multiple 
elements matching that particular expression. And OR operator is used to find out all the elements which match one of the one condition out of the given conditions. For example, even if the uh, type attributes value is text, all those elements will be written and those elements will also be written whose input, uh, whose ID attribute contains F. As you can see it has written seven elements. So like that you can use AND OR operator in XPath expressions as well. Now next is relative elements. So let us inspect this uh, second text box and uh, as you can see there is no ID attribute so you cannot identify the, is this element uniquely. But uh, you can uh, definitely identify that element based upon this TD because last name is also uh, only once in this particular form that appears only once so if you can uh, find out this td then you can get this next sibling of that particular td and its child is the input so based upon these relationships you can also identify the elements so let us find out this last name td first of all and for that you can use this xpath expression because it is td we can use td over there and we want to find out such td whose text is equal to inner text is equal to so this text is another function which can be used to find out the text whose text is equal to last name so the td has been found and next thing that we want to do is we want to find out the following sibling of this td so this is the syntax to find the following sibling. So you want to find the following sibling uh, which is of type td. So it has found this td. Now our input element is actually the child of that. So what you can do is you can simply use double slashes and then use input. So it will find out that input element. So if we mouse over that particular uh, input element that will be highlighted in the web page. So that is how you can use this uh, parent-child relationships in the XPath expressions and just like following sibling we have also got the preceding sibling like you can uh, if this input element was in this study we can use the preceding sibling of this study so you can move forward and backward using following sibling and preceding sibling concepts similarly you can also find the parent childs for example uh, once we uh, go to the uh, get to that td we can find the child so we can also use this particular syntax to find the ch children of that particular element using this child colon colon star syntax and similarly we can also get the parent of the any element using this syntax called as parent star and these are the two parents of that particular element so that is how you can use the uh, previous sibling preceding siblings this child parent relationships to identify the elements now next is uh, using the CSS selectors. CSS selectors are similar to the XPath, only difference is that. Let me clear this first of all. And let us say you want to find out the all the input elements using the CSS selectors, then you can use this particular syntax. input and over here instead of dollar $x you have to use dollar then hit enter and then it will display all the input elements so remember that you don't need the d d double slashes in CSS selectors and let us say you want to find input elements whose fn attribute value is equal to sorry id attributes value is equal to fn 
and you can use the syntax remember that you don't need that at prefix before the attribute name in the CSS selectors otherwise the rest of the syntax is same now let us say you want to find out the input element whose ID attribute starts with FN then you can use this syntax caret symbol you would use like that or say you can also use star which which works just like contains function in expat so if fn is anywhere in that particular id attributes value it will be found and finally uh, if you want to find out uh, the input element whose id attribute ends with specific letters then you can use dollar symbol and let us say all the input elements whose id attribute ends with n and as you can see one element is found so once uh, you g uh, like find out the expat and css uh, expressions from this particular developer console what you can do is just copy paste that expat expressions and then put it into your code and over here i have got one example wherein i have used the expat expression to identify the first name element using this expat expression and uh, then i am using another expat expression using contains function to clear the same text box and then finally what I am doing is using CSS selector to enter the value in that particular first name so I am gonna execute this particular code and then this example will demonstrate how you can use expat and CSS selectors in CLNM in csharp.net So I'm just gonna execute that test. It'll first uh, enter the Donald in the first name, then clear it and enter the Trump in that same field. It enter Donald, then Trump, and then it'll close the browser. So that is how we can use expat uh, and uh, CSS selectors in Selenium. That ends our lecture number 9, that is Advanced Expat and CSS Selectors in Selenium in C-Sharp.net. I hope you enjoyed this lecture and stay tuned for more lectures on Selenium.